today I'm gonna make vegan tacos. Um, it's actually really easy, but I don't think people really think about making something like this. Um, but you know how I am, like if I cook something and it has to be extremely nutritionally dense, like I'm just not gonna just make something to make something from a recipe. Um, so I've tweaked this over the years um, and made it vegan because frankly we eat too much meat and I'm trying to get everybody off eating um, as much meat because it's just bad for you. Um, so what you'll need, it's kind of, there's a lot of ingredients to go into it, to be honest. Um, so to make like the taco meat, I use these patties from Trader Joe's. They're made from pea protein, from peas. They come, I don't have the box because when I get them, I take the box out and I throw the box, I recycle the box and I put them in the freezer like this. But um, it's a white box and they're vegan protein patties. Um, the rest of the protein patties that Trader Joe's has, has gluten in them. And this is the only one that's actually gluten free, so it's pretty easy to recognize. Um, and I like them because they, they're they not trying to act like meat. Um, they taste really good. They kind of taste like a cross between like a onion ring and a french fry and a turkey patty. So I like them. They're really good. So what I'll do is I'll take four of these or six of these and just do them all at once. And then I'll use probably four of them to make the taco meat. And then the rest of them I'll put in the fridge to use on top of salads or to add to something and then um, I put them in the oven until they get really done and I flip them on 470 uh, 470 no, sorry 375 and uh, then you'll need a packet of taco seasoning you won't need the whole packet but you'll probably use about half and that's what I use for that part and then um, I'll make Spanish rice or you can call this Mexican rice and call it whatever you want um, just fire roasted chopped tomatoes any kind of rice you have quinoa tastes awful with it so i would just do rice brown rice white rice basmati rice whatever kind you like you know in my house i only have basmati because that's the only one i really like and i'll do it with um i'll chop up a half of a white onion and i'll cook it with just the can and the juice and then um some of the taco mix seasoning sometimes or just some chili powder so you'll need that and then um, I do black beans so I like to use just the black organic beans and then you'll need um, a can of green chilies to put with it and you'll need and I usually put uh, cumin and lime um, together with that so you'll need limes as well and then I make a salsa but the salsa I make is, like I said, it's pretty dense. Um, these are my cut up pieces of my red bell pepper. And I use zucchini, of course. And then cilantro. I use uh, fresh cilantro. So that's my little herb basket that I keep in the fridge and water. Because I don't want my herbs to dry out. So I just keep them in a, in a white container in water. So they stay really pretty the whole time. This has been like for two weeks. And they still look really good. <clears throat> So fresh cilantro, and then red bell pepper, zucchini, white onion, and um, some garlic. If I have my garlic around here, yeah. And some garlic. And then I'll use spices. I'll use oregano. Um, then maybe some chili. And then I'll throw in maybe hot sauce. I'll show you. And But those are the things that you need. Just different spices, like the like the vegan chickenless seasoning salt. Maybe onion salt. Um, and then you'll need taco shells so that's kind of like the plan so I'm gonna make it all and then I'll just show you what it looks like at the end okay bye see you in a bit